Okay, real quick, let's talk about our metering modes. If you remember in the in the example of aperture priority when I was covering you know the, the camera and we had a change in exposure settings, this is what we're dealing with is how the camera is measuring light in the metering mode. So I have a flashlight here on top of a tripod. And the easiest way for me to teach this particular lesson is to talk about spot metering mode. So when I put the camera into spot metering mode, you'll notice that as I pan away from that flashlight, we get this circle in the middle of our screen. And, and sometimes I see people on the forum and in the Facebook group, they're like, what is this circle and how did I get it? That is your spot metering mode. And you can select it right here, it's on the bottom. What that circle is saying is we're telling the camera to sample light only from that circle and nowhere else. And I can prove this because right now when I tap the shutter button, it's recommending an exposure of f4.5 with a shutter speed of 1 320th of a second, right? And as long as I stay away from that light, it pretty much is in that ballpark. But the moment we cross over into that headlight, it recommends a much faster shutter speed, 1 8,000th of a second. In fact, it's so bright, it's telling us it cannot properly expose for that light. And if we continue going past it, the moment we get outside of that circle, it goes to a much longer shutter speed. And this is the heart of the matter when we're talking about metering modes. Metering modes allow us to select certain patterns and shape to tell the camera where to sample light from. And spot is the most obvious of these. When we come back in, there's also a partial metering mode. It's sort of like spot, but you'll notice there's a bigger circle here. It's not this tight circle. So now we have a bigger circle. And again, it changes when we get it within that circle. Maybe not all the way at first, and then when we, when we get to the middle now, it's at that 1 8,000th. And the moment, even when we get to the edge, so it's a little bit different than spot, but it's a bigger area, suffice it to say that, right? Then we have the center weighted average, which doesn't give us any shapes or geometries, but as I move it over the center, you can see the shutter speed changing again. This might be good for like shooting backlight situations. You know, we're shooting a portrait with heavy backlight, subjects right here. We have lots of bright lights coming in the corner. And then we also have finally the evaluative metering mode, which measures from different parts of the image. There's some center weighted. It, it's like the general purpose metering mode. For the most part, I tell students to stick with the evaluative metering mode when they first get started. It's pretty good. In fact, I really only use these two, the spot and the evaluative. So we have covered a ton of information, including different types of focusing. We've talked about our exposure values and modes. We've talked about white balance, metering modes, drive modes, the different menu options, the different icons. And now we're gonna start getting into the deep menu section.